float and fly leaders have kind of become an ever changing thing. Uh, I've made a couple uh, adjustments to them since my last last big old in depth video on it. So in this video, I just want to kind of go over those those updates. Um, I'm not going to cover the whole whole leader just like I, I did in the last one. So anybody who's viewing uh, my videos for the first time, uh, I strongly suggest you go back to my first video the in-depth approach on the new uh, leader systems uh, check out that video it has a ton of information in it all kinds of good stuff important stuff and uh, this video is just the the update on the most recent uh, tweaks and adjustments I've made to the uh, the leader system so let's get into it so starting out here's a, a sample sample leader this upper part from the the fly line to the bobber I've now put in a, uh, a little snap snap swivel. This is actually a really really important part. Uh, so one one thing I've noticed is uh, is my fly line would get kind of twisted up with the uh, the pencil pencil bobbers that I'm that I'm throwing. Uh, it's not an issue for your like six, first six months of owning the fly line but after that the uh, the twists kind of get pretty pretty bad if you don't have this this swivel in here. But the the swivel just kind of allows this whole leader and and bobber and everything to twist around and really reduces the tangles in the fly line. So I would rate this new little little swivel here uh, at a 10 out of 10 for the importance. And the swivels I'm using, they're just the uh, the P-line P -line deal here. Uh, 17 pound, size 10. And then the uh, the second, the most obvious change are the uh, the indicators I'm throwing. These are the new Jadicator pencil, pencil bobbers. Uh, come in three different sizes. Got the extra large for the the conventional fishing, uh, size large for the the fly rod, <clears throat> and then we have the small size for the fly rod as well. Uh, the small size is really good if you're throwing just a 132nd ounce fly. Uh, for newer people that don't have the abilities to really haul over big heavy stuff uh, on your first first couple outings or whatever, this is a nice nice little trick. Say it's a windy day or something. These are easier to cast, quite a bit lighter, so they cast cast a lot better. Um, nice, nice bobbers. These are my go-to though, the large size. This is what I what I start out fishing. I pretty much fish these about 75% of the time or so. I do really like these small ones on on Clear Lake though, for nice little short leaders. You can throw these with a three weight, four weight rod. This new shape too, it's much much more sensitive. It's it's slow slow to tip up and down and stuff. The other ones were just kind of real real quick. Um, these are super, super sensitive. I love the new new Jadicator uh, pencil bobbers got going. These are the, the ones that won the uh, the bass tournament Wild West. So yeah, I was throwing the, the large size and my partner Logan, he was throwing the, the extra large size. These, these did the job. So yeah, that's the upgrade to the uh, the indicators lately got got some better options. Then the uh, the next change I'm now running Rio Rio Tippet. The reason I'm running the the Rio Tippet now instead of the Maxima or the the Seaguar is because it's it's a lot stronger. This 2x here is rated at a 11.2 pound pound test at a diameter of 0 .009 inches. That's pretty pretty phenomenal. So that's the same diameter as the eight pound cigar but it's rated at 11 over 11 pound tests um, pretty good and then the uh, the six pound maxima that's the same diameter as well so you can do six pound tests versus 11 pound tests same diameter so I started out using the just straight straight six pound for the liters then I wanted to do the the fluorocarbon so I started running cigar now I'm just running 2x 2x Rio Rio fluorocarbon tippet, great great stuff. Um, so yeah, strength. That's the the first reason. Then another reason is uh, for space and, and storage. Uh, it's just really simple. Toting toting this around takes up very minimal space. Nice and convenient. Uh, so a, a good example for the convenience aspect is this little part that we use on all, almost all the, the leaders, just a six to eight inch little little piece of what was a 12 pound test. Um, but now I'm just using the, the Rio 20 pound test, the same diameter as the 12 pound that I've been doing. Um, 
that's just much much easier to bring bring this along in the boat <clears throat> for the little little six inch piece versus a big old regular size size spool like that. Then I still do the the 15 pound test for the uh, the butt section just from the uh, the fly line to the the indicator. I do like the maximum. It's nice and stiff for turning turn stuff over but if you want to make everything really convenient you can uh, just run the 25 pound Rio Rio power flex instead of the uh, the 15 pound max and it's the same diameter so then you just got everything you need right there ready to go super nice nice and convenient and the other reason I uh, recommend doing the the Rio now is just to uh, support your local fly shops they always got this this stuff stuff in stock real super basic uh, basic stuff and if you're a conventional angler uh, looking for the thinnest diameter and strongest uh, line for the float and fly I would recommend going in a fly shop picking up some of this this stuff yourself so starting off with the nine foot leader the leader that I use most frequently all you need are three three separate things of the tippet the 2x and the floral flex uh, 1x in the power flex and 20 pound in the power flex then 15 pound maxima or the 25 pound power flex so that would be just four four different deals of line that has you covered for the uh, the nine foot leader then the 10 to 15 foot leader if you want to want to fish those you're going to need the the zero x power flex on top of that and if you want to do the clear lake uh, seven foot crappie crappie bass leader uh, you would want to get the 1x fluorocarbon on on top of that so those are all the uh, the different lines you need um, now we'll uh, go into into a couple charts here real fast to show show all the uh, the length and the the pound tests and all all that and everything uh, just feel free to, to pause it screenshot it or whatever whatever you need to do and uh, that's the video on the updated float and fly leaders. Hope this helps.